The entertainer, who is from Mayfair in Red Hills in San Andrew, went to missing on Thursday, August 24th. The skeletal remains of a body were found in a cane field in the district. Police said that the remains will be processed and compared with DNA samples to determine the true identity of same. The missing person report on the entertainer was made by her mother, Millicent McCurdy, to the police last August. The police had since commenced a missing person and possibly murder investigation. The police said that several lines of inquiry were made. Several individuals were interviewed and statements were recorded. They said that they're appealing to anyone who may have information that they believe can be of assistance to the police to call them at 119 or 311. The entertainer, who is from Mayfair in Red Hills in San Andrew, went to missing on Thursday, August 24th. The skeletal remains of a body were found in a cane field in the district. Police said that the remains will be processed and compared with DNA samples to determine the true identity of same. The missing person report on the entertainer was made by her mother, Millicent McCurdy, to the police last August. The police had since commenced a missing person and possibly murder investigation. The police said that several lines of inquiry were made. Several individuals were interviewed and statements were recorded. They said that they're appealing to anyone who may have information that they believe can be of assistance to the police to call them at 119 or 311. According to reports, an unidentified man died as a result of a gunshot wound that he received in Baker's death in St. James on Thursday. The body is of brown complexion and has an unkept hairstyle. He was wearing a red shirt, blue jeans, and a pair of black polo slippers. Reports from the police are that close to 4.50 p.m., the man was sitting in the front passenger seat of a taxi, waiting to be taken to another community. An explosion was then heard. The man was found slumped in the motor vehicle. The police were called and he was taken to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead.